Look at somebody to the left or to the right of you. Just tell them again. Say, we're coming out of this. Mm-hmm. Look at somebody else and tell them, make it personal. Say, you're coming out of that. Maybe there's some of you today that feel like every time I make a promise unto God, every time I tell God, God, this year I'm going to do something wonderful. This year I'm going to rededicate. This year I'm going to get my word more than what I was. This year I'm going to pray like I've never prayed. This year I'm going to rededicate my life. And the more you commit unto God, it seems like the more heaviness comes upon you. Encourage somebody and tell them, say, it's not about you. But it's all about the favor that's on your life. That's why when people talk, people say things about you. It can't stop the blessings of God. No matter what people say, what happens in your life, the favor and the blessings of God are still going to come just because of who you are and who you're related to. Today. I've got to come at the devil real strong because I see a lot of the saints getting caught up, my God, in ungodly wisdom and in, in, in ungodly information. The devil is a lie. When you get in trouble, my God, you need to call on the Lord and ask God for help. Ask God for direction and ask God for a way out. The Bible said if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God who giveth liberally and upbraideth not. I don't have anything against Facebook. I have one myself. But my God, I've got to monitor. My God, how much I'm on. I've got to monitor what I respond to. I've got to monitor. My God, who's on my, uh, in my friends list. I've got to monitor what I'm like and what I don't like. My God, the devil is a liar. My God, I, got, I, I have an anointing to protect. I got a calling to protect. I got things to do. I got people to see. I got blessings to walk into. I don't have time to sit back and wonder what other people are trying to do and what they're saying. My God, I'm trying to get what God has for me. If you believe it, you ought to look at somebody and say, get what God has for you. And even as you sit here, God is, is working some things out. That's why I got joy when I heard and felt the praises of God going up because as you was praising God, he was working things out in your life. That's why you don't ever come to the house of God and not give him praise and not give him glory because every time you praise him, God comes down and begins to maneuver. It's something about praise by God that turns your mind. Say, there's something about praise that shifts things in your life. There's something about praise that sets up, my God, God to move on your behalf. You can grab somebody by the hand. And let the power of deliverance begin to flow through you. Look at them right in the eyeballs and say, neighbor, we're coming out of this thing right now. Tell them and say, if I heard right from God, God told me to tell you that your heaviness is breaking off right now. Go on and tell them. Say the doors is unlocking. I don't know about you, but I hear chains unlocking. I hear the dead boats opening. I feel the doors swinging open coming out of your heaviness coming out of your imprisonment coming out of your captivity coming out of your slavery coming out of your subjection coming out of your incarceration coming out of your hang down coming out of it coming out coming out tell somebody you got to come out now find about three people and say come out come out mother come out you can come out now you can come out yes you can you've been down long enough now you can come out you can come out and 
give God glory. The Bible said that he will show up with a strong hand. You can come out and give God glory.